be great at 2K basketball, you're gonna need a versatile offense. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can use three different freelance offense during a game versus a human online to switch it up, to stay versatile, and stay dominant throughout the course of the game so your opponent cannot adjust whatsoever. Oh, hi, my name is Sam Pham. If this is the first time you're seeing me, subscribe right now for over 100 2K16 tutorials this year. All right, and they're all of fantastic quality i guarantee i can help you win and for to my subscriber the family so this is the second part of the video so the link above will give you the defensive side of this gameplay today i'm going to focus on the offense and i'm going to teach you guys how to stay versatile 48 for for the whole game and keep your opponent completely out of the loop and in the palm of your hands like oh hey james harden <laughs> anyways hey you know what let's get to it Let's begin by looking at free 2 spacing with a freelance action. When I'm in this set, I prefer to run a pick and fades after calling a quick isolation with the power forward. The idea is to get the power forward to pass in space, and then I'm going to space out the court, free 2. If there's nothing, I'm going to call a quick post up, get it into my postman, and hit him with that Sam Fan post move. If they double, find the open man, maintain the spacing, 1 triple pull up, sack Randolph. Bang! Here it is again, we're still in that 3-2. We're gonna call a roll with set. Why not this time? See if we can get in the paint. We couldn't, but we're still maintaining that spacing in that 3-2. Calling that quick ISO using the post move. Sam Fam turnaround. That spin move is nasty. Right, but once in a while, you also wanna run it with a roll. Just to keep the defense guessing, keep them mixed up. So he got used to the fade, I hit him with the roll. Easy basket. Now in quarter number two, I switched it to 4-1 spacing. Still with freelance action. And for those of you wondering how you can switch this all this stuff, what you want to do is you want to click left on the D-pad, and then quick play will come up, and then you want to click R1, that will switch you to your offensive strategy. And from this point on, all you're going to do is use the right stick and make the changes you want, switch it to the offense. In this case, in the second quarter, we'll be running 4 out 1 in, we're still keeping us freelance action. So once again, always call quick ISO, use the trading big man for the pick, we're in 4 one now, so high pick and rows, easy pass get again. Now, but you're not always going to get the roll, right? So in 4-1, you want to hit them with multiple passes once you get the pick. So make sure you run the defender in the pick, use that spacing. Now, Jeff Green can shoot from the outside, but because the defense is shifting, I can attack the closeout defender and still finish strong. Also, just because you're in 4-1 doesn't mean you can't post. So just call that quick post up, stay up high on the floor, easy entry pass, and once again, hit them with that Sam Fan post move. Hit the link above and you'll see how to do that post move with detail if you haven't watched. And that's the counter move, family. That was a spin move into the counter move. I was doing forward again. Hit them with that natural roll. Use that spacing, swing the ball around. That's beautiful, beautiful team basketball. Houston Rockets are in need of help. All right, so in the third quarter, I switched it to free out extended. Now, obviously, I'm making all these switches for teaching purposes. I wouldn't switch this much in a game, but at the same time though, I'm saying you should, because especially when you're playing against humans, they will adjust AI too. So keep these on, you know, your bag of tricks. Constantly switching at the beginning of a quarter is fine. If it doesn't work, switch back to what was working. But here it is again, we're in freelance, free out extended, and uh, one major tip, I always suggest you call a quick ISO before running any of these pick and rows. And if you are gonna run a pick and row, do it with the trailing big. So you see Marc Gasol, he's trailing the play. He's the last big man up the floor. Use him because this shifts the defense majorly because that, is, that means the other big man has to, you know, move around to match up with your trailer. So we hit him with the, with the pick. We're able to find Mark. Easy basket. This is all because I used the pick with the trailing big. Once again, quick ISO before the pick and row. Remember, we're in free out extended here. So we might sneak in some face. So I let Marcus Gasol out to get more spacing. Quick ISO again to get into the post. Spin move all day long. Mm, loving that spin move. All right, and to end the quarter, it was the fourth quarter, so I figured I was going to end it with something that was working really great the whole game so I can close him out. So from what I remember, the four ones was great. So I switched back to four one to end the game. And you see here, by this time, I'm pulling away and the four one is killing him. I was able to get deep into the basket now because he's so afraid of the roll and so afraid of the fade. So don't be afraid to drive. If you get it, get free throws, easy baskets. Here we get the roll with Jeff Green. Hit him with that double cross. Get it to Jeff. 
See how he's dead in the water because he's not used to. He, he's, he's seen too much stuff. Right? He's seen free out, free out extended. Now it's four one. Just it's too much on the defense here. I split the pick and roll. And what you want to do is you want to stay patient. Stay patient. Let the roll man come in the paint. Then make the pass. That's real basketball. That's real basketball. Grizzlies game. So we're gonna take a look at the final stats review. You can see it in the statistics. Uh, my offense shot an incredibly high percentage. 68%. I was able to also find free wide open free, so I shot them. And most importantly, tons of free throws. And you can see from my box score, the entire team was contributing. We got Marcus Saul leading the way, Jeff Green second, Randolph. Everybody shot a high percentage. And most importantly, I want you to focus on the plus and minus. You can see every player is in a plus. That means all of the lineups I suggested, but I ran in the game, had a positive result. All of the offenses I did, even through the constant switching, everybody was helping the team. So that's great, great, great team offense, especially online versus a human. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Tomorrow, I got a special, special play set for you guys. One play, eight options. I call it the double dragon. Yes, it's just as effective as it sounds. It's like unleashing two dragons. So keep an eye out for that on Friday. Also, something special over the weekend, I was able to personally train a rather famous 2K YouTuber. I'll let you guys know who it is when I release the video. I had a training session with him. I taught that family style, Sam Fam style basketball. So I'll show you guys that maybe sometime over the weekend. That's a training session. So as always, uh, I'm going on my morning run, as you can see. No toque, because I got that haircut. So I can just aerodynamically run my heart out. So thanks for coming by. And I'll see you guys next time.